Hello again, welcome back to another video. First things first, I just wanted to say a big thank you for 1,000 subscribers. This is a huge milestone and I'm so glad that so many of you have enjoyed my videos enough to subscribe and I really hope you stick around for more. This is also gonna be my first video of the year. I took a break and then it became a longer break. And here we are. Now that we're back, um, we're gonna start out by making a medieval inspired dress. Now I'm going to be using a pattern to make this dress and it's the one that I used for my Sansa cosplay. And I just really like the fit and the fall of the skirt. I'm gonna chop it to make it short and I'm gonna chop off the giant arms to make it more wearable. And then I'm also going to add little loops on the sides so that it has a nice lacing detail. I hope it works. We will see. But I'm really excited about this. I just love historical inspired outfits in everyday wear. So I'm looking forward to adding this to my wardrobe. But if you like this video, please give it a like and I would super appreciate it if you would watch another video afterwards so that I can hit my hours and get monetization now that I'm at a thousand. So exciting. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so my fabric is all ironed. There's still some fluffs that came off in the wash that I'm just gonna need to lint roll. Um, and I have all of my pattern pieces taken out. So I think what I'm gonna do is, the pattern is for a Game of Thrones inspired dress, except unbranded because, you know, copyright and fun things. It's floor length, and I used it for a Sansa costume a few years ago. So since this, I want this to be a little more casual, I'm chopping off at two feet and then I'll extend this piece to be a little more curved. And I think that should give me a nice like T length, but we'll see if I have to add a panel at the bottom, like whatever, that's not the end of the world. So we're gonna start by cutting out all of the pieces. This is a side front piece, I think. This is a side front piece. We're gonna start by cutting out all the pieces that I need two of. So side front, side back, facing front and back, and sleeves. And then after that, we'll open this up, lay it flat, and do front and back pieces. So I think that should be fine. I believe I got enough fabric. I hope I guesstimated this length well enough because I'm feeling too lazy to measure right now. Okay, so I got my first piece seamed together, and the seam is ironed nice and flat. I need to trim those. Um, I'm doing this in a different order than the pattern instructions recommend. This is the side front and side backs pieces. The pattern recommends assembling the side front to the front and the side back to the back as the first step. But I'm doing it like this because I want to add lacing that goes across this side. So I wanted these lined up so that I could 
put my little loops in on either side and so that when I sew that up, it'll be in the correct positions on either side. So I did this first. Now I'm gonna make some lacing in the little loops that will be attached. Then I think I'm gonna put the zipper in, which is kind of crazy. I'm gonna put the zipper in while the back pieces aren't attached to anything else. Then front and backs get assembled to the sides. I think that makes sense. Or maybe after I do the front and the back, I'm gonna do the facing, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But next step I think is gonna be the zipper. So let's go figure that out. And yes, I am aware that my sweatshirt is exactly the same color as this one.
is now resembling a dress-like thing. I pinned the shoulders together and I tried it on and weaved the cording through and I just really didn't make enough cording. Oh, and I hate making cording. So I really don't want to make enough cording. So for now instead, we are going to use yarn that I have that is nearly in the exact same color, except it's a little lighter. So I'm gonna cut up some yarn, weave that through instead. Should give it the same effect. Also give a nice little texture difference. I think that might be interesting. The cording blended in very well, which was my intent, but this might do some visual interest. Um, and then maybe I'll braid this together or something, or, or I'll crochet a, I'll crochet a chain, that's what I'll do. And then we can, this will make it so that I can tighten it a little bit without strangling myself, basically. And then facing, shoulders, sleeves. Getting close. Alright, that'll be it for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I really like how the dress turned out. I think it looks super cute and I really like the way that it fits and I like, even though I wasn't intending this to be what it was, I like the contrasting detail of the crocheted lace. So please, if you enjoyed this video, go watch another one of mine. I recommend this one and if not, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Okay, bye!